Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about the Bachman books. Not the four individual books, but the omnibus edition from October of 1985. We'll show you what to look for when trying to identify first US and first UK editions of the book. Hey everyone, so today we're going to take a look at the first US edition of the omnibus Bachman books. Uh, the Bachman books um, collection was published by New American Library in the fall of 1985, um, and it collects the first four Richard Bachman novels, Rage, The Long Walk, Roadwork, and The Running Man. Um, and this is uh, most people's first exposure to those books, uh, myself included. Um, this came out when I was in high school, and I actually remember my high school library had a copy, um, probably around uh, um, 1986, I'd say. Um, <clears throat> and that's where I read it, actually. So, uh, you know, um, not many people knew these books, you know, before it was, before Stephen King was outed as Bachman. Um, so this was a, a neat book because you got four, you know, new, new to us, four new Stephen King books in one under, you know, un, in one cover. Um, and that was cool. So, uh, this was, you know, um, as a collector, this book was always easy to find. Um, and, uh, you could get a, a first edition for, 10 bucks, 15, 20, 20 dollars, 25 dollars until the late 1990s when he pulled Rage out of print. And that's when the book became sought after because you couldn't get, uh, you couldn't get it anymore. It was no longer in print. And between the late 90s and, uh, so over the, the past 20 years, it's become more and more scarce now to the point where, um, first editions like this are costing hundreds of dollars, which seems crazy to me because there were so many printed Anyway, um, this is what the first edition looks like. Um, it was uh, published by New American Library. Um, if you want to check to see if your copy is a first printing, it'll have a it'll have a uh, price of nineteen ninety five, US nineteen ninety five. Um, it says FPT. That's freight pass through and uh, a Canadian price below that. And the copyright page will have a number line, printing line, that goes down to one uh, over here. And that indicates a first printing. Um, the book itself is quarter bound in cloth. Um, it's got nice gold foil stamping on the spine. And the other cool thing about this is it reproduces the covers of the original paperback volumes in black and white. Uh, bummer, these weren't full color reproductions, but, uh, but pretty cool nonetheless. So, um, so that's the U.S. Uh, first edition of the Bachman books. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the first U.K. trade edition of the Bachman books. It was Published in the U.S. in the fall of 85 and in uh, the U.K. in 1986 um, by New English Library um, as a trade hardcover. And here is the book. Um, I should have mentioned in the last video with the U.S. one that the jacket artwork is super lame on both. Let's let's take a look at back. Uh, super lame jacket artwork, maybe 2% better on this one, um, but it's just text. And I think they could have done something really cool uh, with the artwork, maybe even just have uh, like, a like a quadrant style thing with e each of the four uh, books with the original um, paperback uh, edition artwork reproduced. That, even that would have been interesting. Um, but this is lame. So anyway, uh, here is the British edition. Um, New English Library, 1986. Uh, to see if your copy is a first printing, you're going to look for the 
1095 UK price on the jacket. And the copyright page will actually have no indication of printing or edition, um, other than first published in Great Britain in 1986 by New English Library. Uh, that's it. I'm not sure how many printings this book went through in the UK, but um, I don't think I've ever seen a copy that wasn't a first printing, but I'm sure there must have been. Um, the book is a little bit less attractive. Uh, it's not quarter bound. It's just a solid black board with gold foil stamping on the spine. And uh, let's see, I don't even think this version does it does it reproduce the artwork? I can't remember. No, it doesn't even doesn't even reproduce the artwork. So, so I guess in that respect, the UK one is a little little more lame than the US version. Um, but that's the UK first of uh, of the Bachman books uh, omnibus edition. Thanks as always to Noah for showing those amazing first edition copies. So once the Bachman Books Omnibus was released in October 1985, it was in the original hardcover edition, it was in a book club edition, it was in a fairly iconic mass market paperback edition that had the cover with the highway lined with skulls, one of the cooler of the um, cover art images in the entire Stephen King universe, in my opinion. Um, and then in 1996, between 1985 and 19, 1996, Bachman, Bachman laid low. We didn't hear much from Bachman other than in the omnibus. And then in 1996, we got a brand new Richard Bachman title released in conjunction with Desperation. And of course, that was The Regulators. And to go along with the release of The Regulators, a new version of the Bachman books omnibus was released and it was released in hardcover and mass market paperback by Signet and it was released in this trade paperback edition by Plume. And the only reason that I mention it, the only reason that I share this is because it features a new introduction called The Importance of Being Bachman. And it's really interesting, um, in when the omnibus first appeared in 1985, Stephen King wrote an introduction entitled Why I Was Bachman. And he was obviously still a little salty about being outed as Bachman. And, but then 11 years later, when the new omnibus uh, was released with the new introduction, he's a lot mellower um, with the passage of time. And it is really interesting to compare and contrast the two. The 1996 release of the Omnibus is also interesting and noteworthy, not just for having a new introduction, but for being the last um, broad swath of publication of Rage before it was eventually pulled out of print just a couple of years later in 1999. And as Noah mentioned, in his video, the reason so the omnibus in and of itself is fairly common and was no great shakes in the in the 80s and 90s, but once Rage went out of print, it made the omnibus much more desirable and much more expensive. Um, I've sold the mass market paperback editions um, with the highway with the skulls for 40 or 50 bucks and I understand, like on Amazon right now, to get this very paperback book, there's one for 95 bucks, and the original omnibus, the first printing, is hundreds of dollars, all because of the notoriety of Rage. And I'm, I'm of an opinion that Rage um, isn't worth hundreds of dollars on its own, but scarcity drives the market and, and what have you. But once the once Rage was pulled out of print, the Bachman Books Omnibus was released in the 2000s. Um, just the three books, uh, Running Man, Roadwork, and The Long Walk, 
um, minus Rage, and then finally the other three titles were released as standalone editions, and they've been available that way ever since. So the Bachman books Omnibus, as a thing, has ceased to exist. I'm going to go into much greater detail in the other videos about the four Bachman books, so I won't rehash all of that here, but um, the Omnibus is an interesting is an interesting addition to the collection um, regardless. So even if you spent six or seven hundred dollars on a first first trade edition, first printing of the original 1985 Omnibus, it's still way cheaper than a first printing of Rage. So that helps put it in context. And um, but you can still find if you want to just find the book in some form to have the text you can find it around um, for not all that much money if you're patient and you keep looking. And I highly recommend that you that you pick it up and that you compare and contrast the original introduction with the new introduction from 1996 because they are um, they are quite interesting to compare between the two. But as always, thank you to Noah for your help. Uh, making these videos possible and thank you to you for watching and for your support and um, Gosh, I guess that's about it wherever you are. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks. Bye